What's up, y'all? We got another sub versus dub episode, and this time it is My Hero Academia. So someone in the comments actually recommended me to do that for My Hero Academia. So thanks for suggesting that. Before we get started, like all the videos, just a quick disclaimer. It does not really matter what is like truly better with sub versus dub. It really comes down to personal opinion. So really just watch what is best for you. I just think it's fun to show y'all, you know, the sub versus dub and kind of give my opinion on it. So jumping straight to it, we're gonna do Midoriya using one for all for the first time. Alright, so that was the sub. It's pretty interesting because you get to hear All Might and Deku in this. Honestly, super solid job for the Japanese side of this. Let's hear it in English dub. There are no combat points rewarded for taking on that humongous villain. But there is opportunity. A chance to shine. To show what you're really made of. So clench your butt cheeks, kid. And yell this from the depths of your heart! Clench your butt cheeks. That's right. Show who you are. Embody what it means to be a hero. Nothing is nobler than self-sacrifice. All right, and that was the dub. So funny story, I actually do watch the series and sub, but when I first clicked on the show, it actually was in dub, and then I kind of heard some voices talk, and I was like, ooh, like, I don't know how I feel about this. So that's kind of like how I hint at how I feel about the dub. But one thing I can say, I can admit the dub voice fits Midoriya as like a wimpy, powerless kid, right? But do I necessarily like it? I don't know. So with All Might, honestly, like, I don't mind either voice, but with Deku specifically and this scene, I would say sub wins it. So even though the dub kind of fits Deku, I just feel like the delivery was a little bit better in sub. Just my personal opinion though. All right, now we're gonna watch Bakugo getting a little emotional. If I had been strong, if I hadn't been kidnapped by villains, then it never would have happened. All Might knows it was my fault, but hasn't said anything. Everyone has to know though. I can't get it out of my head! It's like it's constantly playing on loop! So what the hell am I supposed to do?! No. He's been carrying this guilt with him the whole time. Even more than me. Okay, and that was the dub. And honestly, Bakugo's voice actor actually pretty much fits him. Now again, like I said with Deku, it's it's just a little weird, but like, it fits him, but I'm not a huge fan. Like honestly, to me, the dub voice it kind of sounds like a meme. He's been carrying this guilt with him the whole time. But otherwise, Dub Bakugo did a pretty good job with this. So now let's watch the sub version. <笑>俺が強くて未来にさらわれなんかしやぎだ。あんなことになってなかった。俺前とか秘密にしようとしてた。誰にも言えなかった。考えねえようにしてても、ふとした瞬間を湧いてきやがる。どうすりゃいいか
So that was a dub. And, you know, like I said before, the voice fits him with being a geeky, weak person, right? But to me, at least, especially with the Smash, it really just it doesn't hit that much. But I will say the voice, like, does fit him for, like, English. It, it, it pretty much fits him. I'm just not a huge fan. All right, so now let's watch it and sub. <laughs> Oh. All right, so with this one, pretty clear it is a sub win. For me personally, just because you can hear the struggles he had more in his voice, and honestly, I just feel like the smash part, especially the smash part, hit a lot better. So question of the day is, do you prefer My Hero Academia in sub versus dub? Also comment down below which one you prefer in sub versus dub for each scene. All right, now we're gonna do Todoroki versus Deku. Let's watch it in dub first. To become who you want to be. Ah. He's using his fire! When I'm in battle, I never use my left side. You're a fool. Even though you wanna win this battle, now which one of us is screwing around? I want it too. I'll be a hero. Power to the Rocky! I see now, Midoriya. Thank you. All right, really just an awesome moment in the show. And honestly, I kind of forgot how Todoroki's voice sounded in dub. And it's kind of like a little bit deeper than kind of like what I expected it to be. But still pretty good job for the voice acting. Just sounds like a cool dude. I was watching in Japanese. And that was the sub. I may be completely wrong on this, but I think that was the same voice actor as Aaron from Attack on Titan. So for me, honestly, both did a great job. It can be pretty close, but for me, I think I have a preference towards the sub for Todoroki. To me, I don't know, it just, you know, it just sounds a little bit cooler on my side. Now, it's just really my personal opinion. So let me know what you think down in the comment section below too. All right, so now we got this super awesome, amazing scene, the United States of Smash. <laughs> なしくないこざいだ。誰かの影響かな。浅い。そりゃ、星が入ってなかったからな。何人もの人がその力を次へと託してきたんだよ。みんなのためになりますようにと。一つの希望となりますようにと。次はお前の番だ。頑張ろう
such an iconic scene. Goodbye. One for all. So if you didn't know, that's the same voice actor for Vegeta in dub. Christopher Sabat really just did a great job with this scene. So honestly, it's it's honestly pretty close. If I had to get a slight edge, but in my personal opinion, I would say Sub takes the win for this. You know, it's really just personal opinion for me. It just hits different, especially in the sub. But I can give respect that that was a really good scene in dub. I can give respect on that. All right, next we got Plus Ultra Prominence Burn from Endeavor. First, we're going to watch in sub. Dude, it's so strong. <laughs> so really, super awesome job with the sub in this. That was a great way to end the season. I believe it was season three that this occurred. This is a super awesome scene. Great voice acting. All right, so now let's watch it in the English dub, and I have actually not heard the scene in dub yet. I see it. You are me from the past or another future. Burn up. Be at rest. I've always hated that damn school motto, but it seems appropriate. I'll go plus ultra! Prominence! Burn! Dude, Endeavor is just so strong, dude. All right, and that was a dub. And honestly, that was my first time hearing that, and I'm very impressed. They did a really solid job with the voice acting there. So honestly, it is like really close. I might have like just like the slightest preference, but I would say honestly for this scene, I would give it a tie. Both are just really good English or Japanese. Great job. They just nailed the voice acting in both. And I gotta admit, dub really surprised me there. I did not expect it to be that good. Next, we got Bakugo and Midoriya teaming up for a Detroit smash in the My Hero Academia Heroes Rising movie. Love that movie. So first, we're gonna watch it in dub. This is the end of your dream, Deku. You're gonna be quirkless again. But that's fine. I have to do this. All Might's awesome! He's crazy strong! Even when things seem impossible, he never gives up. That voice, though. He always wins! Saves everyone with a smile! The movie was so good. So good. So that was the dub, and what's funny is I actually saw this movie in theaters in both sub and dub. First, I went with my friends that liked the sub, and then I had another friend that wanted to go and watch it in dub, so I watched it with him too. And it was so good that I even got the Blu-ray, so I still watch it. But yeah, that was the dub, you know, really good job. Honestly, especially on that Detroit Smash, I gotta say it was a pretty good job. Right, so now let's watch the sub version. <laughs> The movie is just so good, man. If y'all have not seen it, please watch it. Please watch it. It's so good. It's one of my favorite anime movies. So honestly, both did a pretty good job on this. Now really, I don't mind the sub or dub for Bakugo like I mentioned before. And for Deku, you know, you kind of heard what I thought throughout this video with Deku in English. And honestly, like this is pretty close. I feel like it's really down to preference. So for me, I would say sub takes it. You know, it's really just a preference, a personal opinion with me. But yeah, I can say, you know, Dub did a pretty good job on this scene too. It's just my personal opinion. But yeah, in the comments, let me know what you thought was better, sub or dub, especially for each scene. Really just watch what you think is best for you. If you want to see more sub versus dub episodes like this, make sure you click the link in the outro. Otherwise, make sure you subscribe and turn on those post notifications if you want to be notified whenever I upload a new video. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.